feel tired about hardening OS, optimize OS WordPress itself? Or you are concerned about DDoS attacks, exploiting bugs or unexpected fees from providers, Amazon, DigitalOcean, etc.? OpenShift is there, from Big Daddy Red Hat, shining like a candle in the dark. Fortunately, although we can't have full access to this virtual instance like a real VPS as Amazon in previous tutorials. However, we still can have full control of our WordPress, install plugins, modify functions PHP, place AdSense, etc. Compared to a limited one of WRDPRESS.com or Blogger, it has a cute concept called gear. It's like we can upgrade our PC by plug more RAMs better CPU hard disks. The unexpected simple sign up process can let you feel like a boss. Completely free, no credit card required, no more asking about grandpa. OpenShift offers free plans that include free three small gears which mean you can host up to three applications on your free plan. The downside is that they don unregistered trademark T offer support from Red Hat but the community only. If you are familiar working with command lines and similar applications before, it will be much easier for you. I Pricing is straightforward, pay as you go. When your blog grows big enough, you can upgrade to other premium plans. Every plan has its own scalable capacity, so don't worry. OpenShift is a PaaS that allow you to run your own app for free with low resources. It offers 1 GB storage and 512 MB RAM and has support for custom domains. It unregistered trademark s just like a real server, but you get it for free. WordPress simply is a PHP application, its database is nothing more than a MySQL. So you can choose to place PHP on one instance gear, MySQL in another one. Think about the partition concept of Windows and now you see it. Bellow fee applied to additional demands. You should stay happy with three free gears loaded.
WordPress is just the container that we deploy to demonstrate some other capability, not a multifaceted application that needs to be deployed, scaled, backup up, and managed. For all the countless examples, rarely do they talk about what it means to run a multi-tenant WordPress environment from the perspective of a service provider selling WordPress sites for profit PO. You just need to fill up some info, active email, done. You just need to follow the wizard about creating the application, fill up some essential info. Public URL should be unique. It should be something like this. App name your nick. rhclode.com you can use your domain later. Scaling or gear expansion capacity should follow the warning or official guides from OpenShift.
Ahoy, wait a couple of minutes before all gears are ready. In this blog post, we are going to show you a much easier way of getting a new instance of WordPress up and running in OpenShift 3.6 or later using a quick start template and custom WordPress image. This instance can be used for a new site, or you can perform the data migration steps we already detailed in the prior blog to migrate your data from an existing instance of WordPress open Update, OpenShift has stopped offering free hosting account that you can use to set up WordPress. Therefore, this article no longer applies unless you have an existing OpenShift free account. For anybody looking for a WordPress hosting provider, you can consider Pengen and Studio Express. You can restore your old blog as normal. I recommend Freemium Updraft.